This is my pneumatic injection molding machine. I designed it, machine the aluminium part on a CNC, turned the injection chamber and plunger on a lathe, and 3D printed the electronic enclosure. In this video, I'll show you all the parts, how I assemble them, and how you can build one yourself using open source files. It can inject up to 45 grams of plastic. It is designed so that the full build price stay low. I've compared my design with many different injection molding machines on YouTube and inspired myself with a few of them. I've made three versions, first with two guiding rods, then three, and now four. It is now much smoother than the first two models. Here are all the parts laid out. It consists of three aluminium plates, 3D printed electronic enclosure, pneumatic solenoid valve, pneumatic cylinder, and few other parts that you will see in the video. First, we start with six 10 mm 50 cm threaded rods. Then the four 3D printed feet. Then we install the top plate. You need to make it parallel with the bottom plate. So for that you need to measure. I go with 47.5 on the top This part here is a subject of improvement. In the description, I'll put a Discord link if you have any idea on how to improve it to make the injection cylinder holding to the uh, aluminum plate. For now, the, the solution I found was to put two screws through the whole plate, but uh, it's not ideal and it's a bit difficult to drill these holes. So if you have any idea, uh, you can post them in the comments or you can join the Discord group and, and we can discuss about it if you guys have any idea.
now the two heat bands with the PID controller temperature sensor that I joined inside this cable housing. For the 3D printed box, I use uh, brass inserts. The box stack nicely. There is holes to pass cables. Everything is made so that uh, cable management is the easiest as possible. In the project file, I'll give you the uh, wiring diagram. I will not film the whole cable assembly because it takes long and it's uh, a bit difficult with the camera to take every angle. When everything is connected, it should look like this. The air valve seems to work fine. So now let's see the designs. This is the first one I made. As you can see, it was uh, with an ugly box and uh, it was off center. Uh, it was only two rods on each side hold the plates and here are two rods to guide the injection chamber so this one and uh, it was a manual uh, air valve so I changed with electronic here it was too off center like it's not it's not in the edge I mean so it wasn't that nice it was three rods other than that it was almost like the last uh, version and the last version is uh, with, uh, with the pneumatic valve on the sides, but with four rods, making it uh, much smoother when it's going down. It doesn't rotate this plate, ma making it stuck, as it was doing in the first one especially. In the, uh, in the second one it was doing it, but uh, rarely. Here you just need to put a drop of oil on, on the... Um, on each rod sometimes you don't need to put a lot just you know to make it uh, go easier uh, you can adjust the height by uh, unscrewing this because uh, each mold has a different size so it's good to have a adjustable height and uh, it, you can even put taller uh, molds and if really at the end it's uh, it's not it's still not enough you can change these uh, M10 rods that cost really cheap. You can put uh, more than uh, 50 centimeter. You can put 70, one meter, whatever, as much as needed. Um, yeah, then I put, uh, I made this uh, fit that uh, fit perfectly the knot, uh, the knot, this one. So it's it's better. Then I used the push button in the front. And uh, 
and it looks it, it, it's much um, it looks much nicer than the previous version. So this model, I will share it with you. I will give you in the in, in the description, and uh, if you can modify it and do whatever you want with it. Here is a is a version that uh, that I wanted to to make. But uh, it it means I need to start with a square um, square block of uh, metal, and uh, on the lathe make uh, this cylinder. So maybe it could be in two parts instead of like I did making a hole on the on on this on this face and on the other face, so that the cylinder doesn't go up with the with the piston. So if you have any idea of how to make this design better, you can just, uh, as I said, you know, like put in a comment or join the Discord and uh, we can share and, you know, like I can uh, uh, update the design so everyone can profit out of it. Um, then there is uh, the automatic function that I'm working on. There is, uh, this one is the pneumatic version. And uh, this one is electric with electric motor. Um, this one, I almost finished it, but I did not really try because I always pass to a different design. I was passing to this one. But yeah, same if you, if you have a skill in uh, engineering and, uh, and you, know, you, can, you can do these kind of things, we can all share this kind of uh, design and maybe make it a fully automatic uh, machine. So. That's it for the video. If you have any question, you can uh, leave them in the comment or join the Discord, so we can all uh, get uh, like upgrade the machine and get better machine. Uh, I will I will give all the step file, not STL, so you can modify it and it and you know like it's easier because uh, STL is pretty much broken files. It's just good for 3D print. For the CNC, you if you have a CNC, you can make this three plates then all the parts are uh, you can buy them on Amazon AliExpress and, and everything just the case this plastic case is uh, PLA or ABS like in a 3d printer and uh, the cylinder is in a in a lathe you can make it in a lathe so yeah thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video